Difference between weather and climate. Yesterday it was a windy day, today it is a rainy day, and tomorrow it may be a sunny day. The conditions of the atmosphere may change from one day to the other. The conditions of temperature, pressure, moisture, clouds, etc., that change very frequently may be in a day or two and are localized over a small area a city or a district, are referred to as weather. The position of the earth with reference to the sun changes during the earth's revolution around the sun. This gives rise to four divisions of the year due to varying temperature conditions and related phenomena. These divisions of a year into four seasons that we experience. Every place experiences almost similar seasonal variations every year and year after year. The changes in temperature, pressure, moisture and other conditions of the atmosphere remain almost same over the years. These average atmospheric conditions that have been experienced for a long duration of time may be 25 years to 30 years or even more and over a large area like a country are known as climate. The weather, season or climate are dependent on various elements that are responsible for changes in the atmospheric conditions and thus deciding the weather or climate of a place. Weather instruments Thermometer The two limbs of the U-shaped sixes maximum and minimum thermometer are made up of glass. Mercury is filled in the lower parts of the U-shaped tube and alcohol in its two limbs. Two iron indicators in both the limbs are used to read the temperatures. When there is a rise in temperature, the alcohol in the left limb expands and pushes the mercury in the tube and in turn, the iron indicator in the right limb pushes upward. The position of the right indicator gives the maximum temperature of the day. When the temperature falls, the alcohol contracts and the mercury level falls in the right limb but rises in the left limb. The reading of the indicator in the left limb records the minimum temperature of the day. After taking the reading, the indicators are brought to their normal position with the help of a magnet. This is called the setting of the thermometers. Rain gauge The rain gauge consists of a cylinder with a fixed funnel to collect the rain water. The water is collected in a jar which is placed below the funnel. The amount of water collected within 24 hours is measured using a graduated cylinder. Rainfall is usually measured in centimeters or inches. Several precautions need to be taken so that the accuracy of measurement is maintained. Rain gauge is kept away from any obstruction like buildings or trees, etc. Care is taken to prevent evaporation of water from the instrument. The water is very carefully transferred from the rain gauge to the measuring cylinder without any spilling. Barometer The atmospheric pressure is measured using a barometer or a barograph. A barograph is a self-registering instrument for measuring pressure. The change in pressure are recorded on a rotating drum. The two types of barometers used to measure atmospheric pressure are the mercury barometer and the aneroid barometer. The mercury barometer uses a glass tube which is about 1 meter long and a vessel filled with mercury. The mercury in the inverted glass tube is set up to the level of 76 centimeters. This is the height of mercury at sea level. When the atmospheric pressure is low, the level of mercury drops in the glass tube. The level of mercury in the glass tube rises 
with the rise in atmospheric pressure. This is due to the changing pressure of the air on the mercury in the container in which the glass tube is inverted. The aneroid barometer consists of a metal box which has vacuum. The lid of the box is flexible. It moves inwards due to increase in air pressure and springs out when the pressure decreases. An indicator needle fixed on the box gives the pressure reading. It is easily portable. Unlike the mercury barometer, it can be carried for outdoor use. Hygrometer The instrument that is used for the measurement of humidity is the hygrometer or the dry and wet bulb thermometer. The dry and wet bulb thermometer consists of two thermometers of the same type. However, the bulb of one thermometer is wrapped in a muslin which is wet. The muslin is kept moist by using a wick which is dipped in a container of water. The temperature of the dry bulb is higher than the wet bulb. When the temperature is high and evaporation takes place, the atmosphere of the wet bulb thermometer drops. This is because some energy from the wet bulb thermometer is used in evaporation. If the difference in the readings of both the thermometers is more, it means a low humidity and if readings are same, it indicates a saturated air. Hygrograph is a self-registering instrument used to measure humidity. Anemometer and wind vane The speed of wind is measured using an anemometer. Depending on its speed, the wind is named as breeze, gale, storm, etc. Wind speed is measured in knots or nautical miles per hour. One knot is equal to 1 nautical mile per hour or 1.852 km per hour. The wind vane moves in the direction of the wind flow and the arrow attached to it shows the direction of the wind's movement. Iso heights and isotherms. Iso heights. Iso heights or hyzotal line from Hutos meaning rain is a line joining points of equal rainfall on a map in a given period. A map with iso heights is called an isoheital map. Isotherms. An isotherm from thermos meaning heat is a line that connects points on a map that have the same temperature. Therefore, all points through which an isotherm passes have the same or equal temperatures at the time indicated. An isotherm at 0 degree Celsius is called the freezing level. Fact. Isoplets are lines on a map joining places of equal data. Isos meaning equal and plethos meaning lines. Examples are isotherms, isobars, isoheights, etc.